Bad Country for Life here. I'm going to assemble my fuel protection bars that I just bought. I actually got these in chrome and spray painted them black, flat black, just because the chrome didn't look as good as I wanted it to on my bike. And so we're gonna give these a shot. I am not going to take apart I think the instructions say to, let's see here, oh, loosen the bolts on the swinging arm spindle and the lower rear gearbox and adjust those and you need a special tool or jimmy rig one out of your shop and make one but I'm not going to finagle with it, I'm just going to do the upper bars and the bracket and you know I think lowering and adjusting the spindle down here lowers the engine so it makes it easier to mount the fuel protection bars on but not gonna happen I'm not going through all that work so let's give this a shot first step is to remove and loosen this fixing from the lower dresser bar and you use a uh, 12 millimeter here for that so we'll start. So you now you take this bracket that comes with the kit and this M8 by 25 bolt and M8 washer that they give you and you're gonna mount it to the lower dresser bar front mounting here. Uh, and be sure you don't tighten it all the way down at this step. So I was able to get this bracket on right here and I needed help from my son to push on the other side of the bike because this lower engine guard um, shifted a little bit um, away from the engine where it was originally seated. So I just pushed it on the end right here while I screwed it on and while my son was pushing from the other side. Now the next step is to remove this front engine mounting bolt, um, you're going to need a T50 torx bit socket to remove this so i'm gonna do that next so i found out that on this side you're probably going to need some help from somebody to hold the nut from the other side of the bike and so you're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket to hold the nut from this side of the bike I was able to get that off not too bad you just need a long extension to get in from the other side. But now what we're gonna do is we need to fix the upper bracket. So we have a thick washer, uh, it's a spacer, and then you have an actual bracket right here, and then a washer and a new uh, fixing nut, bolt I guess. And then the nut, the lock nut, will go on the other side. Again, you'll need the T50 Torx and you'll need the 14 millimeter for the lock nut on the back. All right, gonna get this on. So you can see I'm using a magnet holder in there from the other side to get that lock nut in the back so that this can take hold and spin. But again, need help from the other side? I'm waiting for that person right now. Well, that was kind of a pain, but was able to get it on there. It's not tightened up yet because I got to finish the process, but get some help from the other side to keep that lock nut on the back side of this uh, solid and still to prevent it from just spinning as you tighten it up. Now it's time to remove the rear engine mounting. I'm working on the right side of the bike, by the way. Got that on, put on a little blue thread locker. I haven't tightened it down yet, and now I'm gonna tighten this bracket to that bracket there and underneath right there. Got those on there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some touch up. I bought the chrome uh, protection bars and they were half the price of the black ones, and even when I found the black ones, they were out of stock, and I don't want to wait to go on trips. So I just figured I'll spray paint these black, 
They're pretty close to the original Triumph color, but still off a little bit and they're gonna get scuffed up. Uh, but I got this on, this one bolted, this one down here, and this one right here. All bolted, but not um, fully. I'm not gonna do it fully until I get the other side on. So, and then I'll follow the recommended torque settings from the manual. It's on, not fully tightened, but looking good. Time to get working on the left side. Here we go. First step on the left side is to remove the front and rear frame to cylinder head fixings right here. And uh, keep those, reuse any, I don't know, spacers I guess if there are any in there and discard any lock nuts and you gotta replace um, them with new lock nuts. So let's give this a shot. I think it's gonna be a T50 still. Yep, T50, no change on the Torx bit. So it looks like I'm gonna have to remove this radiator hose to get the bar. You can see here, it's not, it's just not fitting there, it's in the way. And trying to get up underneath, there's just no way I can do it. So I'm gonna have to move it, remove it, put it in and then put it back on. Kind of a pain, but gotta do it. My way of keeping the hose up when I unhook, unhook it. A little bit of cooling came out, but that's all right. All right, let's get this baby going here. I might attach this first to keep the engine block in place. I guess the engine to the frame and then I'll loosen this one up. So I'll probably hook in the first part there on the fuel protection bar, just to keep it in place on the engine. So I've loosely got this bolt in, this bolt in, and after doing this, I think I should have loosened this bolt in here first. It's hard to get a good view. Um, in there just because it was harder to finagle it um, with that bolt in the way. So I should have removed this lower bolt first and it would have made it easier to put on this bracket. Um, but I just loosened everything up and was able to, to get this bottom one um, out of the way. But now I'm gonna put in a new nut right there. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then I'm gonna tighten everything up. It's coming along. That bottom bracket's a beast. So I had to actually loosen because once I removed that original bolt, the engine protector slid. And so it, it moved position. So I had to loosen these lower bracket bolts so I could reposition this, this bottom bolt here. Um, finally, I was able to get it on, and now I'm gonna do the tightening sequence according to the manual, and I'm gonna tighten these bottom ones, protectors back up. Here's the tightening sequence in Newton meters, so you'll have to convert Newton meters to inch or foot pounds if you plan on using a different tightening torque wrench. And it's all done. There's the left side. There's the right side. So I need to do a little paint touch up, but other than that, lowering those uh, Bottom engine crash bars actually helps put it in a little bit easier if you don't plan on loosening up the bottom brace there because I just do not want to mess with that. So there you go.
2018 Triumph Tiger 800 XCA. And there's your upper fuel tank crash bars.